Welcome back to my little channel. Today I want to talk about Corona again. No, that's not true. I don't want to talk about Corona. It's not really about Corona. It's about what's going on because of Corona. Okay, that sounds very obvious. I'm good at that. I know. Now, what we see here is an image of Wuhan. Um, apparently Wuhan is a city too. I didn't know, but there you have it. And this is where the coronavirus was originating from, or at least this is what people think, the main store. Except when you're in China, obviously, because when you're in China, Wuhan originated in the American army. But the rest of the world pretty much agrees that this is ground zero. Okay, so what about it? Ground zero happens, it could have been any place, it just happened to be this place. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I'm not even going to talk about how the virus may have been made in a lab. That's absolutely not the point. I don't care. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It's not the point. So what is the point? Well, the point is that just about everywhere in the Western world we are being told to be afraid. We are being told that a lockdown is absolutely necessary and we can't do it without it. And oh my god. God, we need to stop this virus from spreading, so everyone should stay indoors. Well, yeah, sure, we all agree with that, because, oh my, yeah, no, corona is bad. But then this, this is from April, so that's eh, roughly half a year ago now. They stopped the corona lockdown in Wuhan, because, eh, okay. Flights resume, families reunite, and traffic jams return to the streets where 11 million people had been shut in. So basically, life returns to whatever normal is in China. Makes sense. I mean, after a while, you have to admit that, okay, at the beginning we were forced to believe this was an I A virus. A virus means that it has a massive death rate and all that. But the reality shows us that this is not the case. And in China, they were like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's get on with life. Please, let's do. Well, it sounds like a good thing to do, to be honest. So, what's the difference with China and just about every Western European country? Well, that difference isn't very hard to find, let's be honest. That difference is that we're being locked down. And... There are people blaming China for creating the virus. And you know what? Yeah, sure. And there are people blaming the World Health Organization for lying about the virus. You know what? Yeah, no, perfectly acceptable too. But how can we blame China for the lockdowns we are having in our Western countries? It's not China that decided that in the Netherlands people have to wear face diapers, is it? Or that people around the world, in the Western world, are being scared into wearing face diapers. It's not China's doing. They may have been at the start of it all, yeah, sure, maybe. But they're not the ones pulling the strings in Europe or in America, are they? And if they are, what the fuck is going on? Now, listen, if you want to be scared of a virus, by all means, that's your God-given right. I don't care. Be afraid. Be careful. Well, of course, be careful. The same is true for when people start having the flu. You don't want to be sick home a week with the flu. Most people aren't homesick with the flu for a week, true. But then again, most sick people aren't sick a week with the COVID virus either. But there is something sincerely different, honestly different, about the coronavirus and the flu virus. Now, obviously, there are different diseases, and don't get me wrong, Corona is real. I'm not even going to pretend to say it's not. Corona is real. So what's the main difference? Well, the main difference is that we are being told to be afraid of Corona, whilst we were never really being told to be afraid of the flu. I mean, people die from the flu, people die from Corona, roughly in equal numbers. 
but we never stopped our society because of the flu. Everything has been said so many times. You want to believe in Corona being the most deadly virus the world has ever seen? I can't stop you. All I can say is look at the numbers. And um, ask yourself, why are our governments so hell-bent on pretending the numbers aren't the important thing? First they scare us with people dying, which is a terrible thing. People die all the time though, so let's get on with it. And then when the dying dies down, yes, excuse the pun, we are no longer afraid of people dying. No, no, now we have to be afraid of people catching the disease. And the disease catching is being measured by the PCR test. And the originator, the, the, the inventor of the PCR tests, clearly stated time and again, the PCR test shows the virus or RNAs of certain viruses may be present. It doesn't show whether you're infected, yes or no. It doesn't show whether it's an old virus. You could have been infected and you could have gone through it. It doesn't show if it's a different virus which has slightly similar RNA because let's be honest, that happens. No, no. The main thing I want to take... No, that's not right. The main thing I want to tell you in this video is people look at China and wonder why in the Western world we are on lockdown and in China everything is back to normal. Criticism is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined and I hope to see you all next time.